I can see here where they lock the street off to reduce hazard to the continuity of the bikeway. And they admonish bicyclists to remember pedestrians. There's a repurposed example of manufacturing that happened here at one time. Oh, there's a bird. <laughs> yeah, see, it keeps them off the street. These oaks were planted when I used to be here, so when I was, lived here in the 80s, this was a stark, miserable, sun-baked hell strip. So this is all what's occurred in the long time since I've been gone. These trees essentially came to this size over the 1990s into the present. They were just little spindly things in the 1980s. And here comes an 87 bus. You can see they've made considerable effort to accommodate bicycles. Lots of rack space. It's going on and on. Another critical element of a post-motorism period. And here we are in Davis Square. Took a shortcut underground through the scary little wretched Davis Station. Now we'll go up the rather high escalator and rejoin the Central Massachusetts rail line momentarily. This is your little trick for dodging Davis Square traffic. Voila! Where that bus is going is where I just was. And we passed underneath the core of Davis Square. There's Johnny D's. And the place that rents bicycles. And the guy who isn't a Mooney, who's been here forever, Somerville's version of social realism tends to involve making art heroes of the humble. <laughs> I talked to an arts commissioner here who even encouraged nepotism and I explained to her that that's considered crass, which didn't exactly endear me, but what the hell. It's awesome you have to explain this shit. Again, lots of bike rack capacity. These huge, strange mobiles. Let's see what their deal is. Part of the stinted common, Springfield provided excellent farm sites for Charlestown residents. So Metford had rum, and Somerville had the milk. <laughs> These things way up there could be seen as sort of grandiose and dumb, but that's our Somerville. Home of Howie Winter. Headquarters for Whitey Bulger. When his own neighborhood would have nothing to do with him. Oh, there's another one of those obscure local people. So now the trail, the 
rail bed goes to alewife more or less. Don't know how far along that thing I'll go. Powder House Castle. I see these things are kind of little wedding cake ornament renditions of shit that they think is important in Somerville. <laughs> Bless them. Really well done, generally, though. The brickwork looks like it will last longer than a week. hustle and bustle in Davis Square. We're notified that we're exiting the Central Business District, hallelujah. And now we're in the path zone called Alewife Linear Park section. I think I used to walk along this as well when all these trees were little saplings. I recall getting attacked by a mockingbird once. So this way will eventually get you to North Station. And this is ultimately headed to Northampton, Massachusetts, home of Smith College.